My name is Miriam Tapela from Botswana. The problem that brought me to Kakande Ministries is the lower back pain. It started in 2007 after an accident and I thought it is an accident that caused it, only to find that it's the problem of the lumbar spondylosis. So it is 17 years ago now. But when it started, it was not that severe, but in, in 2019, it started to be so severe. So here, this is my medical report that I'm presenting before you. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from Fort de Sotsele, private medical center. It's a medical report for Lady Mariam Tapella. We are being informed that this lady has been attending medical treatment and is known to this medical facility concerning this issue of pain in the lower back, pain radiating up to the left leg. So when she was examined by the doctor through an MRI of her lumbar spine, it showed that she has got early lumbar spondylosis with lumbarization of the sacrum. The doctors went ahead to manage her condition in spite of which she does not respond to painkillers. All this being confirmed by Dr. Kabunda, or Kabunda, the general practitioner. These are now 17 years. Lady Mariam has got this severe pain in her lower back, pain radiating up to the left leg. In the name of Jesus. Behold. In the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ has touched you. Father, I thank you. They were out. Healing and deliverance is going on for Sister Mariam in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' holy name. Woman, rise up and go your free. Thanks be to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lady Mariam is now rising up. This marks a new chapter in her life. Hallelujah! Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I couldn't bend now. My name is Caroline Nahmicha Wasilwa from Bungoma. The reason why I came here is uh, because of my lower back. I have a lot of pain in it, and then uh, I have cysts, and also I have very severe headache. It has been there for almost six years. This is my medical report that I have here from Inuka Hospital Kisumu. This medical report from Africa Enoka Hospital in Kisumu, Kenya, belongs to Sister Caroline Nakumesa. This is where she went and was admitted with a history of, first of all, severe headache that was of sudden onset, and also severe back ache pain radiating up to the right hip joint and also to the lower limbs with difficulty in walking. So upon the doctors examining her, as indicated here, she was diagnosed with L4 stroke, L5 stroke, S1 circumferential disc bulge with the right ovarian cyst and muscle spasms. So the doctors attended to her condition, they gave her treatment and uh, in spite of which she continues to feel the pain, all this being confirmed by Dr. Mola, who attended to her. These are now six years. You see the agony on her face when she's rising up. She's not stable in her movement. She has got this very severe pain for this period of six years with a persistent headache. Now, behold the touch of God. My name is Jesus. Be here. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Woman, rise up and go. You're free. This is the day for Sister Caroline. Her life would never be the same again. She has risen up. Hallelujah! She's new! Glory, glory be to Jesus Christ! Thank you, Jesus! I'm healed! I'm healed! I'm healed! She can bend. I can bend! I can stretch my legs! Thank you, God! Thank you, Jesus! I'm healed! I'm healed! Glass. I thank God for the healing power! Thank you, Jesus!
Lady Caroline Wasiwa, all the way from Kenya, had suffered for six agonizing years of pain in the back and weakness in her body. But after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, all pain was no more. Listen to her wonderful testimony to God's glory. My name is Caroline Nahumicha Wasilwa from Bungoma, Kenya. Uh, the reason why I came to Kakande Ministry was because of my back. I had lower pain in my back and I had pain in my legs. Walking was difficult. Sitting was very difficult. I started feeling ill in 2009. But in 2001 is when it became so, so difficult. As in, I'm a chef by profession. My work involves a lot of movements. I could walk here and there doing ABCD. So one of these fine days, we had a very big function and I was walking up and down. But all of a sudden, the pain came. I couldn't even lift my leg. I couldn't even move. I couldn't even twist myself. I stood in one place with a lot of pain and that is the time that I realized that I have a problem. The pain was so much that even tears could come out of my eyes unknowingly. I held on to something very tight because of the pain. So my colleague came and told me, you're being called. I told him, I can't walk. I just whispered, please come. Because even lifting my hand was very, very hard. So he came and told me, what is wrong, mama? I told him, I'm feeling bad. He went and called my colleagues. When he, my colleagues came, so when they held me and tried to move with me, I couldn't even move. They carried me, even carrying me was very hard. It was very painful. So they carried me and took me to the hospital where I was admitted and they realized that I have uh, lumbar spondylosis. I also had a very severe headache of which it has disturbed me for some time. This thing has been so hard on me that I could even wash my clothes. When I want to wash, maybe I put something at a higher place, and when I put it at a higher place, I'm even struggling. So one thing I could rely on is either myself or my children when they're around, and most of them, they are not around. So I would rather get somebody of the, which getting even that person was very hard. So it has continued for some time. Uh, then the pain continued every day, every night when you sleep, even turning is a problem. It was so hard that even lifting my, my feet like this was hard. Putting shoes the way I've put them on like this, it was hard. And you'd find that most of the time I would put on sandals. So I was re really, really struggling. The person who made me know about the Kakande ministry was one of my colleagues. I was sick and admitted in the hospital. So he came to see me, uh, then he told me about the Kakande ministry. Then I was like, I've never seen or heard about this man. So he told me, this prophet is very good and he can pray for you. So he opened the YouTube and that is when I started uh, watching on the YouTube. So I decided now I have to come to Uganda to prophet Samuel Kagande to at least see if God can do something for me. So when the man of God touched me, when I fell down, I didn't realize it. But when I woke up, I felt that even when I turn, it is not painful. When I stand, it is not painful. So I thank God that God has healed me. I thank God that he's used Prophet uh, Kagande to heal me. I thank God because now, if I bent, it is very comfortable. I feel very free. If I turn, of which I could not do this, I could turn like this because it was painful. But now I can turn, I can twist myself, I can bend, I can even <laughs> run as hard as I am, I can. <laughs> I can walk well as much as I was walking like a is, but right now I can walk very well. So I thank God that he has healed me. God bless you. When I was sitting down, 
I could hold the seats and go very slowly, then get a, get a break, then go again. It was so painful. When I stand up, when I'm sitting like this, I have to give myself pauses. I go bit by bit because as the pain subsides, that is when I wake up. When I wake up like this, I could feel pain in my legs that could return me to the seat. But now I thank God I can sit down, wake up without having any problem. Glory to God. The message to my people back in Kenya, I'll speak in Bukusu. Bandube Bungoma, Bemu Kenya. Icha wa prophet Samuel Kagande. Prophet, you know, alende kama anika wele. Kama anika no kahuyeta, kubi indubiyos, nibi ole nabiyo. Kama luwale kosi, unyaha nibuosi, uwele alianano. Muheha le bungoma nende mukenya, kabal se mmanyile, niye mnyola buusi lihita. Icha buusi lihubuli anano. Uwele amwechi habi. Speak to Jesus Christ. I came to this Kakande ministry with a problem of back pain resulting from a road accident. And here are my medical report from Jaramukyo Gingo Dinga referral and teaching hospital Kisumu. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga Teaching and Referral Hospital in Kisumu, Kenya, from the surgical department. It's a discharge summary for Sister Jane Adyambo Owaga. This is where she was admitted with complaints of back pain and pain in the lower limbs with weakness following a road traffic accident. So she had severe pain, therefore the doctors examined her, and here they're informing us that they noted that she has got L1 anterior wedge deformity with compression fracture of the lumbar vertebrae. She was also diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis associated with muscle spasms. You can see that the doctors advised her to wear a lumbar corset and they gave her various treatment. Here she was attended to by Dr. Obondi, the consultant. Now these are 10 years. The lady has got so much pain in her back for which she wears this thoracic lumbar corset. Today, the touch of God's power upon Sister Jane. Be hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is healing her right now. Watch. The way she's stretching out her entire body as the Lord Jesus takes away all the pain in her back that she has suffered for these 10 years. Woman, rise up and go, you're free. Big Thank you, Jesus. Once the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. Sister Jane is healed. Time to move this to the Columba Corset. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus has done it for her. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. I can't depend, I can't walk, I can't. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I'm here. I'm here. Hallelujah. I will seek you here. Thank you, Lord. You restored my heart. To God be the glory. Among those touched by the power of God as a result of the prayer by man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, is Lady Jane Adyambo from Kenya. 
This is a lady who had suffered for 10 years in pain, but after the prayer, she was totally set free. And the following day, she came back to testify, healed and free to God's glory. My name is Jen Adiambo Owaga from Kenya. I'm happy to be here today to testify for what Jesus has done in my life. I came here with a problem of my back. My back was paining so severely due to a road accident, which I found myself at the hospital and admitted. I stayed in the hospital for six weeks. I could not walk, I could not turn. I was tracked on the bed so that I could not move, make any movement to irritate my body. So I was given this corset. I wore it all the time I was in the hospital. And so when I came out, I could not walk properly. I started with a crutch. When I stepped down, they massaged my feet is when I started walking. But with difficulty, my back would be heavy. Whenever I walk, I could feel heaviness at my back. So it went like that. And then my doctor told me I have to be like that. Now, it was like it's part of me now. The condition to not go back to where it was. So I had to bear with it. So I learned how to cope with it. I do my movement carefully. I could not wear long heeled shoes. All my shoes are, are flat because whenever I put on the high ones, I was careful if I slid, I injured my bike again. The pain could come any time, even at night. Whenever I do anything, the pain would be worse. So I was put on some medication. That was some painkillers, some strong painkillers, and with a physiotherapy. So I would go for therapy for twice a week and take my medicine and the therapy Sometimes I would go once or whenever I feel pain, but the pain could come anytime. So I said, how can I go for therapy every time? And whenever sometimes I come out of therapy is when the pain starts again, I cannot sleep. And I said, what is this now? And so I've been like that for 10 years now. Even when I'm at work, sometimes I can't sit for long. They knew when they get me out of that seat, they know I'm just walking around because I cannot cope with sitting for long. Even standing for long, my legs would, would tremble when I stand for long. So some sister friend told me, Jen, you've suffered for long. So there is a ministry headed by Prophet Samuel Kakande. Kakande will pray for you and you will get well once again. Then I said, really? I came. Coming here, I met Prophet Kakande, and then when he prayed for me, I fell down. But then when I fall, I could feel something just running around my back from up to down, because whenever I could feel pain, my back, the lower part of my back, whenever I bent, something would pull it. So after being prayed for, I found it lighter when I woke up. I woke up a new me. I was happy that even my feet were now much lighter, much lighter, much lighter. So I tried picking things down. Now, when I, I place something like this, now you can pick right away like this. Or bending, now I can bend. I can bend. I can bend and bend and bend. I can bend, I can bend. I can twist myself, I twist, I twist. It is good now. So I thank God, I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. I can walk. Whenever I could walk like this, there was some load at my back. Now when I walk, I feel good. There's never a load. I'm good, I'm free, I'm well, I'm good. I'm a new me, I'm a new gen. I'm I'm happy. So back to my country, Johera Madala. 
Osiepe nanyi thinduwa. Jodala wate kodjo Kenya duto mawinja. Anka prophet Samuel Kankande. Kairi yu de resro. Ngata ngata mangishida mangitabu mara mara manye dende. Tuo oken mari. Tuo iwitoko nyasai golo tuwe jeyes tutie kote. Prophet Samuel Kakande, Nyasache Ber, Kibiro Kaibiro Konyori, Ongegi Matamo Yesu, Yesu Ber Nsechete. So I would say again that God is good all the times. <laughs> this corset, I really don't need it because I've worn it for long. I didn't even want it. I could wear it just forcefully. So it is heavy. Even some people, when I could wear it, they would tell me you look like a rugby player. Oh. <laughs> so I don't need it anymore. It troubles me with some of my clothes. I cannot wear with it. Let it go in Jesus' name. <laughs> Let us bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Jacobina Petrus, I'm from Namibia. The problem that brought me to Kakande, I have a problem with my neck pain. I have neck pain for almost two years that I cannot do anything. I depend on painkiller. I can take painkiller every time, but it has reached a stage where painkiller cannot even help me. This is my medical report from Lady Poamba Private Hospital confirming my problem. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from Lady Pohamba Private Hospital in Namibia. It's a medical report for Mrs. Jacobina Petrus. This is what she was referred by Dr. M. H. Ariel concerning this pain in her neck. So here they took an MRI of her cervical spine, whereby they noted several abnormalities, among which they noted disc osteophyte complexes at C3, C4, C4, C5, and also they noted that she has got bilateral facet arthropathy at several of her cervical vertebrae. So she was therefore diagnosed with early cervical spondylosis, together with disc desiccation and facet arthropathy. This is being confirmed by Dr. C. Ensley, the diagnostic radiologist. Now for these two years, the lady has got so much pain in her neck such that she has got difficulty in turning it. Behold, brethren, how Jesus Christ is touching her condition. Magnum Jesus, the Lord, come out. In the Magnum Jesus, the Lord, fire on you. Fire on you, Holy Ghost, fire on you. Come on. She's going on for Sister Petrus in Jesus' mighty name. Leave her. God be the glory. Brother Pango, you are free. This is the day the Lord Jesus has made for her to be totally free. She has risen up. She's standing in the neck. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Oh, Father Jesus. Oh, my Lord, I'm healed. I can do it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Clap Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, it's done. It's done. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ, the miracle worker. Look at the lady turning her neck. This is something to put in the before. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I was sick, you healed me. Thank you, Lord. You restored my health again. Now send a message to Namibia.
Anamibia, Kango Kweshi, Ongo to the Kango to the Kara, Ireniko Kagande, Ministry, Unokuno to the Karunga, Irenio Kune Waikwene, Jimompia Watate Karunga, Ongeno Tanti Mithana, Kehuma Nuzi Wakunenga, Nga and Gutanti Pops on Pangi Kaisan, Nuzi Wumboy Wanyanga on the Hotor. Asi ke ukuno ndo hotoro nene ile niko kakande ministry mumono ya mukuroko probere mazen haleluya Glory be to Jesus Christ Put your hands together for Jesus Christ Lady Jacobina, all the way from Namibia, was totally set free from the pain in the neck which she had suffered for two years. After the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, she was made a new creature, and the following morning, she came back to testify to God's glory. I'm Jacobina Petrus from Namibia. Standing beside me is my lovely husband, Mr. Naftal Mekonjo. Uh, I came to the Kakande ministry with the problem of neck pain. I have this neck pain for almost two years, but it worsened for the past eight months. This pain just started immediately when I gave birth to our son. It's just something that started sudden. So I was seeking medical advice to the point even I went to see a specialist neurosurgeon who recommended an MRI on my cervical disc. So what the doctor advised me is that, uh, based on the uh, result of the MRI, he said I have a cervical spondylosis, that is the degeneration of the disc. I asked the doctor, what could have caused this? He said, no, it's just a degeneration because of aging. I said, doctor, but I'm 34 years. What aging? I would understand if you are telling me at the age of 60. Then I said, what is next now? So the doctor said, no, the only solution will be you have to be taking therapy that he was referring to uh, physiotherapy and uh, painkillers. So I was relying on painkillers every day. I would take painkillers like I'm drinking water. Ideally, painkiller, it was prescribed I should take three times a day. But even when I take it in the morning, for example, I take it eight o'clock, around 12 o'clock, I'll feel the pain is back already. That constant pain in the neck, something is pulling or they say heavy thing in the, my neck. And most of the time, I'll be like rolling my neck to try to untwist it. I don't know how best I can explain it, but what I felt, I was feeling like my neck is twisted or there's a rope that is tying my neck. So that pain is constantly there. I was taking painkiller by profession, I'm a nurse. I'll go to the hospital and then I have to take care of patients. Deep inside me, I'm saying I'm taking care of others, but I'm in pain. So I will be having that pain, and then sometimes if I forget it even at home, and that pain starts, or if the, the last dose that I took, it's maybe out, I call my husband, please check my pain here, I cannot take it. Then he will run and bring the tablets to the hospital. So I said, the physiotherapy, I also went, but it was not helpful. So I said, oh my days, for how long am I going to depend on painkillers at this age? What is next? I realized the only solution now is prayer. But I've been going for prayer. It is not helpful. We decided with my husband, we need to seek higher authority in God. By that time, we knew already about the Kakande ministry. We have been checking YouTube. We have been seeing clips on, uh, on YouTube and also Facebook of people getting testimonies, getting healed. So we decided, let's make a plan and go to Uganda. So when we came here, I was privileged on Saturday 
I was put on a prayer line. For those that have seen me that day, even before the men of God came in this place, when they just put me there, my neck was just fighting back like something is pulling it back. Because I don't know, maybe there's power there. Something was just pulling it and myself, I was just feeling awkward. So when the time come for the men of God to come for prayer, it continued feeling pulled backward. I cannot explain what happened. I found myself on the floor and roaring and roaring. So when I get up, I was so confused. I don't know what is happening. I tried to check my neck. I tried to twist it. I tried to twist it. That heavy feeling was gone. Before that, if I have to check on the side, I would rather turn and check, for example, to this mama. But now, I can just check her like this. <laughs> on the other side as well, if I have to check to someone here, I have to turn the whole body and check. This time, I can just check like this, quick. <laughs> I can turn it even far. Even far, even far, even far. Before that, I couldn't do it, and that heavy feeling is gone. So to confirm my healing, that Saturday, I was telling myself I will not take a painkiller when I'm going to the church so that I will confirm my healing. When I was here around eight o'clock, I could not take it. I took the, the, the tablet. After the prayer, I didn't take a tablet. I went home, no tablet. The whole of yesterday, no tablet. This morning, no tablet. <laughs> I didn't take any painkiller from that time. And that feeling is gone and it's gone. And I don't feel any pain. So I just want to thank Jesus for healing me. Who else could have done it? It's only Jesus. I want to thank the man of God who was on a vessel to deliver my healing, Prophet Samuel Kakande. I just want to give my husband to attest to this problem because we have journeyed together. My name is Naftal Mekonja. Here is my lovely wife. She used the word lovely. I have to use the word lovely because I love her also. <laughs> and really, you know, I can attest to what she said. What a journey, what a painful journey it has been. Uh, just to see not just the wife, but my faith's friend going through the pain. So terrible. I see her tears every day. I see her pain, her frustration a depression, and sometimes you feel like you want to carry those things on even just for a day so that she can rest. And I came to realize that health is wealth. When you have it, you are rich of joy. You are rich of peace. You are rich of freedom. But when health is taken away from you, you have lost everything. And that's how it was. I see the peace. She lost the peace. She lost the joy. She lost her freedom to move because the sickness has limited her. But uh, by the grace of God, when we came here to Uganda and the prophet of God prayed for her, I could see that where the devil was trying to put a coma, God tried to put a full stop. God put a full stop. He put a full stop. And we glorify God, the Almighty, the Creator. Because God knows this body more than any other doctor. And he brought healing to her. And we thank God that the, the tears of, of, of depression and the tears of frustration that we came with, we're going to go back with tears of joy. Because God has done it. And I just want to thank the prophet that he gave, he, he allowed God to use him. In this nation of Uganda, 
and nations have been touched through his message. By the grace of God, long live in his life. Amen. I want to talk to my fellow Namibians. A Namibia kwe tumba mu vitenje mera kanda andipopi. O nga ingunu andipopi mano mpangi keithano. Opunu upzaka di umwe wanye ngo ndo hotora. Opunu upzaka di umwe ndo hotore kurongwe rakucha. Opuo, opo ya huli rangono. Ndahandi kuro mbele kucha, ngengo une itaro, karungota furu kuku kwa thera mupsa kadhimburi, irahuno kwa Uganda kuno mprofet jene waeko, prophet Samuel Kakande, ino hulira mono, irahu mwone manguru kwa joe. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Bless Hallelujah, the Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. that brought me here to Kakade Ministry is pain in my legs and swelling of my ankles and my knees for more than two years. This is my medical report. From Madhari teaching at the Defaro Hospital. Here on the screen, we're looking at this medical report from Mathari National Teaching and Referral Hospital in Kenya. It's a retrograde report for Lady Irene Wambui. Here is where she was attended to. The doctors took radiographs of her left knee and the ankle. And uh, this was done because she was complaining of pain in her knee, pain in her ankle. And upon examining her, they noted that she has got knee joint osteoarthritis together with knee joint effusion. That was after examining her left knee. And upon examining her left ankle, she was diagnosed with focal soft tissue density lesion at the lateral ankle. This is what is causing her severe pain, as is being confirmed by Dr. Lucille, the consultant radiologist. These are two years. You see the difficulty that the lady has in rising up. She has got so much pain in the knee, in the ankle. Today, her encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Behold how the power of God has touched her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be healed. See what is happening, brethren? See the reaction in her feet? No one is touching her, but the Holy Spirit is doing something. Watch the way she's shifting the leg from one position to another. The Holy Spirit is fully at work in her life, flashing out all this pain in her ankle, in her knee. This is Jesus Christ at work in her life. Woman, rise up and go, you're free. Thank you, Jesus. Once the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. Sister Irene is now rising up. Rising up in Jesus' name to her freedom. Hallelujah! Look at the smile of victory on her face. Jesus, I'm healed. I can't walk. I, no, I have no pain in my legs. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. You are the potter. I'm just a piece of bread. Thank you. God be the glory. No healer like the Lord Jesus Christ. 
All pain in the knees and ankles of Lady Irene Wambui from Kenya was put to an end after the prayer by the man of God Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following day, she came back to testify, as you can witness. My name is Irene Wambui from Kenya. I am here to glorify God for what he has done for me. It started in 2021 when I had an accident, when I was alighting from a bus in Nairobi. I broke my leg, which was plastered, and it was removed after three weeks. It didn't heal. At the end of 2022, it started paining. I had a lot of pain. I went to many hospitals. There was a hospital I was given injections for six months. Then I saw there was no change. I went to Madari Referral and Teaching Hospital. And I was done that X-ray. Then from there, they gave me physiotherapy sessions. But I left the sessions after five sessions because when I come out of, the, out of the hospital, I couldn't sleep. I came to know about Kakada Ministries in 2020 when I was introduced to Gabriel TV by a friend, and it, it became part of my home. I have been watching, and I told myself, I will come to Kakade Ministry for healing because I have been watching and I have been seeing many getting healed. When the man of God prayed for me, he touched me. I felt power. I didn't know how I went down. And when I stood up, I felt I had no pain. I felt now I can walk. And you can now see I can walk without limping. I'm a new creature. God created new legs for me. I can even cut walk. <laughs> because God is good and he has done it. I thank God for healing me. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakade for praying for me. He's a wonderful prophet, he's helping many, and he has helped me personally. Glory to God. Thank you, Prophet Samuel Kakande. <laughs> now I want to talk to my people in Kenya in my mother tongue. Ado Aito Age Koyo, Gai Witone Mwega, Na Kampara Uganda, when a prophet, Othien a Madena Macumo there, Nothien a way take you, one of Adien a way take you, Neocohona, Nitodo, on a prophet, at Ereteate, we have faith, Thorien a way take you. Glory to God. Glory and honor to God, thanks to Prophet Samuel Kakade. Blessed be the name of the Lord. from Zambia, but working in Namibia. The problem that brought me to Kakande Ministries is uh, osteoarthritis of both knees. 
I was operated on the left knee uh, last year, October for uh, total knee replacement. Then I'm using, I can't walk without crutches. I'm also using a bandage on my right leg. This is my medical report to confirm my condition. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from MJ Ortho Care Surgery Practice in Zambia. It's a medical report for Lady Irene Munkombe. Here is where the doctors are writing to inform us that this lady has had this chronic bilateral knee pain since the year 2018, whereby she was diagnosed with bilateral knee osteoarthritis with severe vulgus deformities of both knees. So she has been treated and given various treatment in spite of which she's not responding. The doctor suggested that she required to have bilateral knee replacement surgery. So, first of all, they did left knee total replacement surgery, and in spite of which she continues to feel pain, all this was done under the care of Dr. T. Majojo, the orthopedic surgeon, as clearly indicated in this image. It's a medical image for Lady Monkombe Irene. You can see what the doctors did when they did this left knee total replacement. So in spite of all this, she continues to feel so much pain such that she has got to use these crutches for support. These are now five years of pain and agony. You see the difficulty she has in rising up and then after that she has to support herself on these crutches to be able to stand to, and to be able to walk. She cannot stand upright as you can see. This is her agonizing state for this period of five years. She cannot stand up straight at all. The Lord Jesus Christ is the healer. Today she has come to meet him. Now prayer going on for Sister Irene. In Jesus' mighty name, see how she's touched. On the floor she goes. Mighty name, Jesus. Be healed. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. The mercies of the Lord Jesus Christ are sufficient to bring back the health Rise of up. Lady Irene. She has been commanded to rise up. Watch, brethren, the way she's rising up. In Jesus' name. Not using the crutches anymore. She's standing upright. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ. from Kenya. I cannot stand because I have a problem of joint paining and also backbone. So if I sit long and stand, it's hard, I can even bend like that. This is my medical report. Here from the Ministry of Health, Chiburu Dispensary, is a medical report for Mr. Solomon Gachogu. Here is where the doctors attended to his condition. He went with his pains in the joints, and upon examining him, he was diagnosed with osteoarthritis. You can see the various medicine he was given under the care of Dr. P. Mwangi. All this time, it's now four years, he continues to feel so much pain. You see the difficulty he has in rising up, pain in the back, pain in the joints. Behold, brethren. Martin, Jesus Christ. Be here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Gentlemen, rise up and go, you're free. Brethren, 
Mr. Solomon has been declared free. Today is his day of salvation, free from the pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't feel any pain anywhere right now. I'm feeling so free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the healer. Mr. Solomon Gachugu, all the way from Kenya, was totally set free from the arthritis that caused pain in his joints after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following morning, he joyfully came back to testify, healed and free in Jesus' name. My name is Solomon Gachugu Miano. The purpose of coming here, it is because I had a problem of Standing, I couldn't stand for a long time. I cannot, I could not be bent for, for uh, uh, like that. What I'm bending now, I could not even sit for long. And uh, I was thinking it is because of my age, because I'm, I'm about eighty. <laughs> because of that, and uh, that caused me because of the. The backbone here, and there was a lot of pain coming from here for a period of four years. And this happened to my dear wife here, starting with me here. She was, she went to visit my daughter in Dubai, and my daughter went to YouTube, and she was listening about the Professor Kakande ministry through YouTube, and uh, that's where my wife and my daughter thought it's better for us to come here and receive this miracle too. So on Saturday, we came here, and when we came here, I was selected to be in front line. When Professor Kakande, came to my to me i don't know what he, he said to me and uh, i just saw myself down and worked up and when i was working i could just jump like this see my um, i was free i could even learn like this and walk and you know when i was going at home even when i shoot i was doing like this because of feeling pain but now for the few days I'm here, there's no pain no more. I thank God for what God has done for me. I thank God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 And be the honor the conference. I want to thank God through this ministry, Prophet Samari Kakande Ministry and the fraternity of this team working together. May God bless you. My name is Redia Murugi Gashogu. We are very much happy for the Lord and for the Kakande ministry. May God bless you. Wezangu wa Kenya, msukufia uko kwetu Kenya na magonjwa. Na wasihi, na wasihi wa, wa Kenya wezangu. Kujeni Uganda Kampara. Siu kutembea. Mbali mje mkutaye na mujiza wenu. Wakukombolewa na kuponywa. Na, na hapa kuna, kuna huduma. Yambao mungu wa metalisha ya mna, mtumishu wa mungu na bib. Na hitu eh, samari kakande. Mungu awabaliki wakati mnatarisha wa Kenya kunja huku ambako nimetoka na nime, nimerudi kwetu Kenya mkiniona nimekuwa nitakuwa mepona na sina maugonjo tena nitakuwa nikitembea na sina luka luka hivi eh, hata nyumbani tunafanya kazi pamoja na mama sababu sisi ni senior staff ni senior sisi ni senior people ambao tumeritaya eh acha niongee na kikui 
ato anyo ba ito morega ato akanya ne ode mori ya mutika da gukua ne kurwara mutoreta morwarete na no murathie kanitha etekira igoka guko kuri dukata ya ngai moke tu arario kiwoke moe mudwa goko agiukira ako hutia hinya wothe ogachoka na ni undu ucio ni no de muthaitha mwetekire guka guko na nigua mathina manyu mathire ngai ya murathime na mweke wega god bless you thanks be to the name jesus christ